So tonight we're using thermal cameras. They're roof mounted. We're gonna run about 15 miles of routes here in Garrett County. So we base every decision that we make for deer off of a myriad of things, uh, one of which being our population reconstruction model that we do. And there's a lot of different inputs that go into it, but basically that spits out a number as to whether or not there's too many deer, too little deer, or just the right amount of deer in a county. And before we go and bump a county, either more liberal or more conservative bag limits, we like to get some actual data on the ground, and that's what we're doing tonight. So we're, we're doing a deer density survey, much like a spotlight survey, but with some, some new, uh, new technology. And we'll get out here and see what we can find. You ready? Yep. So when we start, you're gonna click route. Yep. Okay, when we see a deer, you're gonna click unknown deer, and then you gotta click done up in the right hand. So there's a big group, you gotta remember that. Unknown, done, unknown, done. And we're gonna click the record button on the computers and the route button at the same time. One, two, three, boop. All right, so now we're recording video and we're recording the route. Garrett County, the county that we're in, there's different types of habitat. You know, there's a lot of cattle country, but there's also big chunks of forest. Basically, we looked at a map and did our best to draw these routes to encompass a representative area throughout the county. You know, it would take months to try and count every deer in the county, so we try and get a good sample based on the landscape and how that represents the county as a whole, the management unit as a whole. So for Garrett County, we've got a mixture of cattle country like we're looking at right now, and then we're gonna get into some more wooded area that's gonna represent another section of the county. Yeah, there's a bunch of cows right there. Hey, there you go, there you go. There's four deer right there. Check that out. We're gonna mark that we got a deer. Like that. That's what we're looking for. The app gives us the ability to not only track the route and track the deer that we see on the route, drops a pin right where we see the deer, um, but it takes weather for us, wind, how fast we're moving, um, all the metrics that we would have to stop and take during a traditional spotlight survey, they're all being recorded right now as we're driving down the road. So it's making this process a lot more efficient for our staff and it's making the data a lot more reliable where we're gonna be able to come and run these exact routes year after year, do the exact same thing and have data that we can you know reliably compare year over year over year. That's a deer way out there. Yeah, see. There's a deer down on a creek. See it walking? There's a deer. Yeah, there's one. Bedded up on the hill right there. And then let's bump on up. I think that'll be another one there. So that's a second deer that's bedded on this hillside right here, it looks like. And then can't really tell what's in here. That looks like at least two, maybe three something. So we'll mark that and go back and look at it on the video to see. Coyote, pull on forward. There he is. There he goes. Okay, I got three deer over here. One, two, three. And that is a rabbit or something. Like 20 yards ahead right there. But those are deer.
We just finished out here in Garrett County, last route of the night. We're gonna download and log all these videos, compare them to the real time counts that we took tonight, um, and kind of come to a consensus on how many deer we were able to see. We'll take the routes that we ran, put them into our mapping software, figure out how much we were able to see, um, and then from there, we'll be able to get a real-time density of what's going on in Garrett County. Quite a few deer tonight. Excited to get back to the office and see what it all comes out as. All right, so we are back at headquarters this morning after the Garrett County Thermal Survey. We've had time to review the footage and we were able to pick out quite a few more deer than we thought we saw. So that's a good thing. The ability to be able to come back and review the footage and count deer again, just to confirm. So now we know how many deer we saw on these routes. What do we do now? From there, we'll take the route that we ran um, off of the app that we used during the survey. Uh, we dropped the route into this mapping software say how far the camera was off the ground and it uses a lidar layer in our map to determine what we were able to see depending on the topography vegetation this was our visibility on the route that we ran right here so now thinking back to math class you've got your area you've got the number of deer inside that area so now we can figure out our density um, Turns out this survey was really supportive of our population reconstruction estimate. It indicates that the county has reached a threshold that it probably needs to be bumped to the next zone, a more liberal zone, zone two, to try and get some deer taken off of the landscape. The main reason that we are trying to keep deer at a manageable level is for the herd health and the landscape health. So. You'd imagine you put too many cows in a field, they're gonna overgraze it pretty hard. Same thing happens to the landscape when we have too many deer. That's our goal in the deer program is to find that balance between having enough deer for hunters to be satisfied when they go out, they're seeing deer, they're, they're harvesting deer, um, but also keeping it at a level that is manageable to where they don't overpopulate and don't start causing all the problems that come with overpopulation.